Are you struggling to get details from Jira or Confluence pages where you are searching for information of design one, where you are looking for details of the status, priority, assignee, reporter details and all. Still wasting time digging through Jira issues just to find out who is working on what or what is the status of it. Imagine if a smart agent could answer that for you instantly, where this agent itself will be able to help you with the detail of issues or work item. What is the status of issue design one like this? Rather than searching into Jira instance, you can achieve it in the Ruvo agent itself. What is the main challenges causing the delays? who is assigned to resolve these issues or what else you're looking for. If any data is not available, there is any blockers delaying this design one work item and these all status you can immediately get it by using this agent or Ruvo agent. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a Ruvo agent in Jira that automatically extracts and replies with any details your team needs on demand. Quick questions before we dive in. What's the one Jira task you wish you could automate today? Drop in the comments or what type of agents you wanted to build using Rovo. Give me your answer in comments. Let's see what variations of answers we are getting through user. Hi, I am Deepak Rai and if you are using Jira for project tracking, you are going to love what Ruvo agent can do. Whether it's for daily standard, status updates or just answering random questions what the status of the work items and questions Ruvo agents can take that load off from your plate. So this is how we can get details quickly by using row agent and we will build in front of you from scratch. So don't worry, don't skip a single bit of this video. Otherwise you might miss important concept. I will show you each and everything in detail where we will discuss how we can build the agents for our purpose or for our projects. To start with this, you need to have administrator permissions and Ruvo is enabled for you. If you're looking out to announcements from Teams 25, Atlassian is giving Ruvo from the premium account user in free of cost. They don't have to pay anything. And that's the magic. You can utilize it for your regular projects, which you are dealing with. How you can begin with it here. You have to navigate it to studio. You'll also get an option to chat with Rovo. But by this way, you can utilize it for checking out any of your questions or whichever agents you have built it. It will be available here. If you wanted to build the agents, you have to click on either agents or on studio. Whichever way you'll click, navigate it to the interface where you will start building your agents. Before we begin, let's first understand what is Rovo agents. Rovo agents are AI powered assistants right inside Jira. You can configure them to understand natural language and respond with exactly the data your team is looking for. No coding needed where you can build this agent with the help of Atlassian ecosystem as well as prompt. You need to have the understanding of prompt engineering and that's enough for you to start building your agent. To get it started with this, these are the agents built by default. And if you wanted to see your own agents, it will be available here. I wanted to create a new agent for my main projects or for my own projects, which I am going to achieve it by using this where we'll create an agent and click on identify here. You have to provide the name of the agent. I'm going to add Jira 
work item analyzer descriptions if you want you can just copy and paste it or whatever descriptions you want you can add it next will be general options i will close this option so that we can see the entire screen in front of us next will be general what instructions you wanted to add is type this message or generate the conversation starter if we don't have the prompt probably you will struggle let me tell you how we can build the prompt consider you have the smart assistant we are first we have to add this you are a smart assistant designer to extract and provide relevant details for the jira issues ticketing project documentations based on the user queries so it means we are giving the small informations about our agent what it is going to perform these details will help us to achieve the desired response what we are uh, requesting from the agents so when a user asks for any details like work item status assignee descriptions comments deadline etc you'll get all those we are giving the instructions to the agent like understand the intent of the request locate relevant fields like work item keys summaries status assignee priority due dates and comments and giving the high level details if you want even you can add more descriptive so that you will get each and every details when you are requesting with the rovu agents and based on the request it responds clearly and concisely including only the details that match the user request at the end i have also added if there is no response available how agents will react if the user query is vague you ask for clarifications we have added those notifications and always bullet point to short paragraphs for easy readability it means we are giving the instructions to the agent what details they can provide and how it provides the details not like it extract everything and send out directly to the user maybe this not looks clear or concise for the end user where they can directly consume it so ensuring accuracy and keep the response user friendly it means again we are giving the instructions i am also providing the examples like give me the status of design 1 you can add any examples i i wanted to utilize my regular issues or work items i'm just giving this so design 1 is my issue key and this i will copy and paste it everywhere so here i'm giving set of instructions to the robot agent where what is the user request and what you should respond it means i am guiding if you are not giving this detail then also it will work but you might get unstructured format i want to keep this format as a structured way so that this agent looks like a clear path designer or informations provider which is consumed by the company and that could be in professional way assigning for uh, this issue type who whom it is assigned and how these details will be deferred i keeps adding each and every informations what agent should reply and the response could be a uh, summary bug in payment processing status assignee priority due dates and everything and i'm also giving at the end if you don't find the informations what message should appear otherwise it will try to capture or get the message from the online all the details i will copy and paste it into instructions so this will becomes my instructions and here we'll click on generate conversation starters so it will add some conversation starters what is the status of my latest issues who is assigned to if you don't want to add it will not highlight like this so we have just seen this right it will not add these details so this is a conversation starter if user don't have any idea about the issues or work items at least they will see some of the questions by default available and this will be helpful for them for navigations next will be knowledge base this knowledge base 
plays a very important and crucial role for any end user. If we wanted to capture all organization's knowledge, select this. Or if you have custom knowledge, you can also select it where you have to add knowledge base. I wanted to select everything where I can request the informations from an entire instance and that should be available. If you want to give no organization's knowledge, then it will be treated like a plain and simple actions. After that, you can also add label of your agent's capabilities. This capabilities will be helpful to add the actions you like the agent to be performed. If you wanted to give some instructions on request and re response basis, that can also be added here. Or all the actions are done. After that, I have to click on activate where you will see the magic. Magic part is the prompt itself. This is where you tell the agent what it should do for you. We are not doing any single sort of coding which might need it for the technical persons. Even non-technical users can also build this agent where you will see this interface. You can also change the image, everything. Whenever you want, you can make it modifications. And this makes your agent laser focused. It knows what to look for and how to reply it. These configurations are important or prompts are important. The way you will structure the prompt, you will get response. After that, we are going to test this agent. You can see the conversation starter, what we have added, it will be available here. So what is the status of my latest issues? It will try to get the informations from my projects and respond to me. It didn't find it out. Let me add some context. What is the work item status of design one? It will try to find it out from the instance of design one and give me the response. Let's verify it if it is giving the right answers or not. I will go to design one and will see the status is to do. Next questions I wanted to ask, what are the next steps to move design forward? It will try to gather the informations from the design one again and responds. Here, this is a summary descriptions and to move this issue forward, the next step is to start working on the prototype of the new launch video as described. We also have linked work item where we wanted to gather these details as well. Give me details of linked work items in design one. You can see ENGS 22, which is available here. What is the next steps for resolving ENG 22? It will highlight the details. So this is how we can quickly build the agents and we can also get the estimated completions date for design one priority. You can also ask the priority. So because we don't have the estimated completions date for the design one, the due date is not specified or not available. That's the reason it will not provide. Say this, we don't have any due dates. If we'll update the due dates, then probably we'll get the result. If you want, even we can add priority or ask for the priority of design, you'll get exact priority as medium. Say this. The way you will add the prompt, you will get a response. Even we can add for other issues or other work item which is available inside the organizations. What should be notified? This is related to design itself. I wanted to ask the about project. Give me details of design project. You'll get response related to design project itself. It try to gather the information as soon as possible and give you the details. Here you can see automations for Jira, recent issues. These all issue items are available. And you can full list of issues and more details here, design project issues. 
So whichever details you want or you are looking for, you can get it by using this agent. Now, question for you is, if you wanted to utilize this agents, you're starting from scratch, what would you name your agents? Be creative. Let me know in the comments what will be your agent's name or how you wanted to utilize Rove agents for your day-to-day -day life. And that's it. In just a few minutes, we have built an AI assistant that can save hours of manual efforts every week for your team. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe and don't forget to share it with your colleagues and teams. You have got the tools now go automate like Jira Pro. And that's all from this video. If you wanted me to create some more Roo agents, feel free to add in the comment sections what type of agents you want. Please add your use cases in the comment sections. I will try to create as per the demand. That's all from this video. Hope you enjoyed the content and we'll love to see you in further videos as well as we'll love to see your feedback in the comments. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again in next video.